All right, Oval fans, I had like three people ask me about doing a video about the Lily Donald uh, Kyle love tri triangle, which apparently should be a rectangle technically because Bobby's involved. I really don't have too much to say. I remember back in season one, I did a video about how I hated that storyline. Seriously, during like the first half of season one, I could not stand the whole Lily, Donald, Kyle, Bobby stuff. That was like some of the, I found that even more annoying than the drama at Richard's house. That's how bad I thought it was until Lily decided to show her badassness. And I'm like, oh shit. But yeah, um, I really don't have too much to say about the love wrecked the 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 shape of love that yeah that's the best thing like, i don't know if this is four sides or three sides but um i feel like the biggest question for me is who the hell is going to get revenge on kyle first that's my biggest thing i mean technically one two three four five what the hell is a five-sided a hexagon is six right or is it seven Look, I sucked at geometry. Uh, but in any case, before moving forward in the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to show you like it. Hit the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel. Follow me on social media. Links are in that description box below. And also, please, please hit subscribe um, in order to help me increase the subscriber watch time on the channel. So if you frequently watch my content but you haven't subscribed, Please do so. We're at like 31%. I want to get to 40 by the end of the month. Pentagon. There we go. Pentagon. That's a five-sided object uh, shape. So basically, we know as an audience that Lily is going undercover by going back home to play the game in regards to being married to Donald in order to keep up public appearances because it's been promised by the powers that be if Donald plays the role that he's in right now, then he could potentially get power and possibly be the next president after Hunter. Lily just needs to stay alive. We know that Donald is, let's just say bisexual, I guess, maybe, to, just to be on the safe side. I mean, it's been said that he and Lily have, haven't had sex, so it's like, we know that he's only married for appearance, but does that mean he's not attracted to women at all? And it's like, can you be in love with somebody even if you're not sexually attracted to them? Obviously, that's a yes, but I'll just say he's bisexual just to be on the safe side because, you know, honestly, I don't know. But we know that Lily doesn't really love Donald, obviously, given the fact that he tried to kill her. Tried, but he didn't go through with it. So basically, she's in, on the inside to get information to help herself bobby max and diane bring down the administration now we know kyle is in love with donald but he's jealous of the lily situation but he's also suspicious that lily's probably up to no good which seems to be apparent in the preview for next week's episode where kyle uh apparently catches lily rummaging through some of donald's things in his office probably to find incriminating evidence bobby we know apparently hooked up with Kyle once or twice while they were serving in the military and whatnot. But he's in love with Lily after being pl placing a mark on her. It kind of reminds me of Spy Kids. Jeremy, where are you going with it? Shut up and listen. Remember at the beginning of Spy Kids where the mom was explaining how she met Ant Antonio Banderas. Oh, excuse me, her husband. Apparently, um, they were both on the case to kill the other one but they couldn't go through with it and then they ended up falling in love and then getting married it's almost the same thing here so bobby was a mark wasn't it kyle who hired bobby to interfere with the marriage basically have incriminating evidence that lily cheated in order to use that to split them up so kyle can be with donald i don't remember honestly because like i said i could not stand that storyline and then Max is kind of like the outside guy just because of the fact that he hates Kyle for trying to kill him. So he wants him to pay for his crime too. But like I said, I, well, I guess I just explained the shape, the shape of love. So I was literally about to say, that's really all I had to say. I don't have anything else to really explain the love triangle, but I just did. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. Bobby tells Max in the next episode, if she doesn't call in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to go over there which is a dumb decision because it's only been a few hours. I think Max might talk talk him down, but I do believe that uh, Bobby said he was going to leave, and then Max is like, hey, uh, I'll go with you. So 
I guess they're going to leave to like talk to different contacts or possibly go over to the house because remember in the original trailer for season two, it looks like Kyle's being beaten to a bloody pulp, but it's hard to tell who's the one doing it. Is it Max or is it Bobby? I believe it's a white guy. Hell, they might triple team them where it's going to be Kyle finding Lily in Donald's office, but then Bobby and Max roll in there and beat the hell out of them. So that could be what happens. It could be because he might be trying to kill Lily, but then they bust in and save him. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I could be wrong, but I do believe Brad Benedict, a.k.a. Kyle, was filming season three of The Oval. So he might not get killed, but he might get the shit beat out of him. So we'll have to wait and see. But let me know what you think about this uh, love shape in the comment section below. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. If you want to donate to the channel, I'd appreciate it. So hit me up on PayPal or Cash App. And with that being said, and with that being said, I'll speak to you soon.